what did you just do with that tweet? You know, like, so you tweeted that out but to, to duck Phillips, dude, you tweeted that to duck Phillips. Why? So what, I mean, I mean, I know why you did it. You know, you were angry. People are attacking you. You're like, oh, really? I wouldn't fuck my head coach. You know who you should talk to about that? Little Miss Princess Laura Sanko. Fuck you, Duck Phillips. It's like, dude, Duck Phillips has two followers. Why would you have, why, why? Well, I was angry. Okay, well, so I know alcohol problem, probably not thinking things through, like really not thinking things through. What just, what did you just do? Like, what happens now? So Megan Anderson, you guys remember Megan Anderson. She's uh, an MMA fighter, an ESPN commentator. Uh, an attractive looking woman, you know, kind of gets a hard time for people. I don't really understand, but now apparently is bringing on herself because she has made some shocking accusations that, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm really, I'm wondering what she's thinking right now. Like I'm really wondering what she was thinking with this post she made because she accused Laura Sanko of, uh, having an affair with her, uh, the MMA head coach at glory, which is their school, uh, James Krause. And she did it publicly on Twitter. She did that, you know, she did that, you know, I don't know if you could see that, but I'll read it to you. So duck Phillips, who is, I would assume not an important person uh, that she was responding to, which I have no idea why she would even respond, said, imagine going to glory MMA of all places for proper coaching and then somehow sleeping with James Krause. Lord have mercy. So that's what duck Phillips said. Uh, Megan Anderson, I don't know why, like this guy, like he's no one. So why would you respond? He's not a blue check mark. Like he's a nobody, right? He's a nobody. You don't have a blue check mark. You're nobody, son. You're nobody without a blue check mark. Okay. So he's nobody. And she responded, you should look at Sanko about that. Actually. Really? Really? You put that on Twitter in public. You said, so Laura Sanko, uh, had an affair with your, the MMA head coach at glory. Now, why is she talking about this? We're going to just get into why she's talking about this. And then I'll talk about the affair and, uh, you know, the accusation in general, I have some pretty strong feelings about this. You're not going to believe like, and I'll explain to you exactly why, you know, I, uh, I saw Laura Senko in person, by the way, and we'll talk about that too. And uh, that actually has a lot to do with why this kind of, uh, you know, just, uh, kind of dug inside of my chest and then squeezed. We'll talk about it. Um, but yeah, so real quick though, if you like the content, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. I'll tell you what, here's the deal. If you've watched two of my videos, you subscribe to the channel. That's the deal that you make. I do the videos. It's just free content, dude. I work my ass off. And all I ask from you is just a click on the subscribe. So I know that people are watching my videos. That's it, dude. And I appreciate it. I really genuinely do. Sorry, if I sound like a condescending prick, I'm like, just subscribe to the channel, dude. What are you doing? It's not, it's not directed at you guys. I love you guys. It's directed at this situation that, uh, I don't know, <laughs> just really rubs me wrong, dude. Like really rubs me wrong for a lot of reasons that I'll talk about. Uh, but also, I'll tell you what, those of you who are holding out on that subscribe, uh, go ahead and find me another MMA channel that'll break a situation down like this. Just find that and then you don't have to subscribe. You know, matter of fact, Anyone who can go and find that, then you don't have to ring the bell. If you can't find one, if you can't find anyone with a take like mine that is, is you know, kind of as good as mine because it's going to be fucking good, uh, then you have to subscribe. And uh, Well, you already subscribed. You have to ring the bell for all notifications. That's what we're doing today. Okay, so what is going on? So Megan Anderson uh, made a tweet on Twitter, which she has subsequently taken down, and uh, which is, you know, really tragic because here's the thing about that. Uh, you can't take tweets down anymore. Like if you're a check mark, you know, like the thing we were talking about, if you're a check mark, if you tweet something, it's never going away, dude. Like it's never going away. Cause generally if you want to take something down, it means you said something kind of like, Ooh, I don't know if I want people to see that. Guess what? People saw it. They screenshotted it. You're done. Okay. So Megan Anderson made a, uh, made a post saying that she had had terrible coaching at glory that she never had any more, you know, going into the Nunes fight. She didn't get more than, one 30 minute session of hitting pads a week. And aside from that, she got no special treatment. And that's why she lost to Nunez and blah, blah, bloop, bloop, and blah, blah, bloop, bloop. It's everyone else's fault. And yada, yada, yada. It's like, dude, you're a UFC fighter fighting for a title. Okay. Like you're a UFC fighter fighting for the title. I don't, look, I don't know anything about this situation. I was at the gym, I, whatever. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that an MMA fighter fighting for the title 
who wants special help will probably get it if she asks for it. I'm just saying, like, I'm just, I'm going to guess that that is probably the case. I don't know though. So this is just me speculating. Uh, but Jeff Molina responded to this uh, with the following, and I will uh, read it to you guys. He said, this couldn't be further from the truth. Way to wait until MMA Twitter is trashing JK for his fighter fighting injured, just like 90% of fighters j- do just because you want some Twitter clout. So apparently Joel Krause is taking heat because his fighter fought uh, hurt or something. I didn't even know about that. Uh I was there your entire training camp for noons. You sat out 99% of the live rounds. You would ask for your training partners jokingly to let you win the round. You were the laziest training partner, always talking about how tired you were five minutes into the drilling. You would intentionally hurt training partners who were new and had an obvious skill gap. You broke a soccer mom's nose in probably one of the few rounds of sparring you did outside of practice. You have an alcohol problem and we and were sloshed a month and a half before your fight, uh, title fight. You burn bridges with every single person in the gym except the front desk guy because of how much of a head case you are. Don't forget how Kraus talked you off the ledge before every fight and how complimentary you were of him for changing your career and life. You lose one fight and now everything changes. Take some accountability for yourself. You lost that fight the second you signed the dotted line. Look in the mirror. That's why you lost that fight. So here's what we know. Fighter complains about blah, blah, blah in a way that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Jeff Molina posts that in very credible response, right? Very credible response. Uh, One of the things saying you have an alcohol problem. Now, as a person who has battled uh, addiction before, you know, never alcohol. Thank God. Thank God. I like opioids. I like them, dude. I like them and they like me, you know? Like, I don't talk about addiction like a, like a person who, you know, like, it's the truth, though. My body was built to just suck down opioids and they love me and I love them. It's like, uh, hey, what are you doing right now, Jesse? I'm like, I don't know. Fill in the blank with the worst thing ever and I hate it and I hate myself. It's like, here, take one of these. It's like, <laughs> ooh. Daddy's floating on a cloud, son. I'm feeling good. I feel real good. Hey, baby, you want to watch a movie? Let me rub your head while we watch a movie. I want to do the dishes first. Let me help you do those dishes. I love doing the motherfucking dishes. God, I feel good. I feel so fucking good. I could take on the world or I could just lay in a puddle. I am the happiest man alive. If I was in a dumpster right now, I'd be the happiest guy on fucking earth. And then the next day, uh, you know, it's like, uh, well... So you feel a little bit worse than you did yesterday because you cheated. What do you want to do today? It's like, I mean, can I go back on the cloud? It's like, fuck yeah, you can go back on the cloud. Let's do it. It's like, all right, I'm on the cloud. You know, fast forward six months and you're like, oh, I'm a sniveling drug addict. You know, I'm a sniveling drug addict. Like I said, find me another channel that'll talk to you guys like grownups, dude. Show me that. Show me the channel that talks to you like a grownup. But yeah, so... uh yeah, I had to kick those things. I can't take them for that reason. Because if I take one, I go to the cloud and then I'll just never come back. So I don't take them. That's what big boys do. Okay? That's what big boys do. If you have a problem, it's, yeah, I'm sure it would be nice to do it. You just can't do it. You just can't do it. Okay? Don't get me wrong. Getting off is not easy. But once you're off, you just don't do it. All right. Uh, you take Kratom instead. Yo, Kratom.com. So anyway, so when they say Megan's got a drinking problem, I go, all right, well, that, that lines up, you know? That lines up, blaming other people, yada, yada, yada. But uh, so she is taking shit from people, right? Like, so she's, it looks like she's taking shit from people online. And so Duck Phillips comes in and goes, hey, how about why, why did you come in there and fuck the head coach, huh? She come in and fuck the head coach. Now, uh, unless I missed one of the chapters of this saga, I don't even think Laura Senko said anything about this. But Megan was feeling like she wanted to lash out. And this is in line with someone who's blaming other people for things. Uh, And she said, you should ask Laura Sanko about fucking the head coach. It's like, oh. And now you bring Jesse on fire into this situation because uh, now you you tapped a nerve for me personally for a multitude of reasons that I'm going to go over here. Uh, So you accused uh, a wife with children... Uh, of fucking the head coach of her MMA gym. 
which could be true. I mean, could be true. I don't know. I have no idea. How the fuck would I know? It seems a lot more likely right now than it did before Megan Anderson said that it happened. Uh, But that doesn't mean it's true. But here's why I don't like it. Here's why I don't like it even a little bit. So what did you just do with that tweet? You know, like, so you tweeted that out to, to Duck Phillips, dude. You tweeted that to Duck Phillips. Why? So what, I mean, I mean, I know why you did it. You know, you were angry. People are attacking you. You're like, oh, really? I wouldn't fuck my head coach. You know who you should talk to about that? Little Miss Princess Laura Sanko. Fuck you, Duck Phillips. It's like, dude, Duck Phillips has two followers. Why would you have, why, why? Well, I was angry. Okay, well, so I know alcohol problem, probably not thinking things through, like really not thinking things through. What just, what did you just do? Like, what happens now? Well, fuck him. No, not him. What happens now? Um, I'm talking about the Senko household. Fucking idiot. What happens now? Okay. Now let me rewind for a second before I get into that. So I saw Laura Senko at UFC 274 in the hotel and she was standing right next to me as close as I am to this camera and I could reach and touch this camera if I wanted to. She was very, very close to me in line. Now I noticed her, uh, because it was one of those moments where you kind of go, whoa. Like where you're simultaneously seeing someone that you've seen on television in person and also you're being shocked by how attractive a girl is. Like, like, Larry, like, whoa, dude. Now, obviously, everyone knows Laura Senko's hot, right? You've seen her on TV. Of course not. I'm telling you in person, she is ridiculously sexy, dude. Like a, a hard 10, dude. An absolutely stone hard 10. Obscenely hot. Like her, she's so, she's so fit. She looks ridiculous. And you want to know why I could say that? You want to know why my uh, opinion on this is is meaningful? It's because I'm also married to another hard 10 that's even hotter than her, dude. Okay? There's no one hotter than my motherfucking wife. And that's objective. Go check it out. You don't believe go, go You know what? Follow my Instagram anyway. Go take a look at that. Okay? It's just an objective fact. I have incredibly high standards. And I'm married to the hottest girl on earth. Laura Sanko is right there. She's so fucking hot in person. It's ridiculous. Now... Am I saying this because I'm being a creep? And I'm like, hey, Laura, Jesus, if you're doing things on the side, why don't you come sit on daddy's face? Nope, not at all, okay? I'm saying it because I know what it's like to be married to one of those, you know? I know exactly what it's like. I would imagine that her husband probably loves her like my, uh, like I love Gabrielle. I mean, they have kids together, you know? That she's really smart. She does jujitsu. She does fucking mixed martial art. I'm sure her husband loves the shit out of her. Okay, if Megan Anderson said that about Gabrielle and her MMA coach, my wife, I'd kill him. Like, I'd fucking kill him. If it was true, he'd die. Like, he'd fucking die. I'm telling you that for sure. He would die. Like, there's, he might, maybe not the week after, but the way that his life ends is sealed. He dies at my hand for sure. 1,000% for sure. He fucked the mother of my kids, my wife. You, you put that poison in her to where she gets to look in my face and lie to me for the rest of our lives. You die, dude. Period. If you doubt that, well, I mean, you wouldn't be able to fuck Gabrielle anyway. But if you did, let's say you hypothetically caught her on an impossible night where she's completely blacked out and she fell on your dick. Well, I hope you had a good time. And you better hope she fucking keeps quiet. Because if she doesn't, or you tell one of your friends and I find out, you fucking die. Okay? Now... That sounds like, oh, oh, scary. I mean, you know, well, he's, dude, he owns an MMA gym, Jesse. What are you going to do if you get in a fight? He's going to (laughs) fight? Dude, what do you think? Like, what do you think we're talking about? You think we're talking about fucking eighth grade in the, in the field? I just told you I'll wait, I'll wait a fucking year. I'll wait a year and I'll run him over my fucking car in the middle of the night. I'll go in his backyard. I'll slit his fucking throat while he's barbecuing two years from now. Okay. There's no, there's no fighting happen. There's no fighting happening and it'll be long enough to remove where they won't even fucking talk to me about it, but that'll happen. Well, sorry. (laughs) This is why I saw this story. and I was like, fuck you, Megan Anderson. And notice I'm not saying fuck you, Joel, or fuck you, Laura Sanko, because I have no idea if it's true. I have no idea. But so, and also like, so, okay, so I just knocked him off, right? Cool. I just knocked him off because like, you know, he did that with my, okay, so what's, what, what, what does my life look like? You still destroyed my life. Like my, my life was destroyed the second that you fucking put that out there. Done. Took the only thing that matters to me in the world away from me. Just 
took it away. Like the, the thing that my entire life is anchored to Gabrielle and my kids took it from me. Like it's gone. That's why you die for sure. But it's not like I get the thing back. It's gone. I'll never, I would never be able to build what I have with her with anyone else. And so I imagine it's probably pretty similar for Laura and her husband, you know, and you, you stupid alcoholic bitch. You just fucking took that from him because now he at least needs to entertain whether or not it's true. He has to at least think about it, dude. And what if it is? And if it is true, because you sounded pretty fucking confident in that tweet, he's going to figure it out. You know, if it's true, he's going to figure it out. So why, why the fuck would you have done that? And I'm not even talking to Laura Senko, dude. I don't fuck. I'm not judging people doing what they're doing. It's not my business. I'm talking about Megan Anderson. Why the fuck would you have put that out there? Why? Seriously, why? Because Duck Phillips tweeted that to you. You literally just destroyed like, I mean, or maybe Laura will just be like, it's complete bullshit and he'll believe her. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe it's her fucking MMA coach though. Like, I feel like they spent an awful lot of time together. So at the very least, he's going to have to entertain it very seriously. You put a fucking poison pill in his brain that he'll never get out, dude. Even if it's not true. Anyway, uh, love you guys. Peace.